In chapter 2, we're going to define the derivative. We're going to define how to find the derivative. We're going to look at uh, techniques for calculating the derivative. And we're going to look at applications of derivatives. There's a lot of moving parts here. Let's look at each of these moving parts one at a time. Right now, think of this as a coordinate system. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. You've studied those before. Any point in this, coordinate, in this coordinate system will have an x value telling us how far we've gone to the right or the left of the origin, and the y value how far we've gone up or down from the x-axis. So there's one of the moving parts. What's the x value? I've colored in this gray segment to emphasize that the x value is telling us how far we are, either to the left or to the right of the origin. If we're to the left of the origin, the x value is negative. So the x value is negative in all those places. If we're to the right of the origin, then the x value is positive. You studied the graph of functions before. The graph of a straight line, the graph of a parabola, the graph of uh, polynomial functions, of rational functions, of exponential functions, and logarithm functions. Those are the key functions that we'll be looking at this semester as well. Uh, the idea is that that graph is going to be the collection of points that have an x value and a y value associated with them. So if we pick any particular x value, it has a y value that corresponds to it that is by plugging in the x value into y. So these two points, this x and y that I've labeled here, x is the point x0, and the y value has an x value of x and a y value of f of x. f of x tells the y value on the function. So as that x value changes, then of course the y value changes. Here the x value is negative and the y value is positive but getting smaller until we finally get to that root or zero of the function and then the y value is getting uh, larger negative as the x value moves in that direction. If the x moves in this direction, then the y value is now positive again until we get to this root. The x value is still negative, but the y value is negative now. When we get over here, the x value is positive, the y value is negative until we get to this root, and now the x value is positive and the y value is negative. Two important moving parts here are the x value and the y value. Now the third moving part that we need to worry about is the slope of the curve. The derivative tells the slope of the curve at any particular point. So if we're looking at this x and y value, then at this point we want to know the slope of this tangent line. As in, when x changes, then that slope changes. Once we get to here, that's called a critical value, the slope becomes zero, and as we move to the, further to the right, now the slope is negative. Notice the moving parts. X is negative here, the Y is positive, and the slope is negative. As we continue in this direction, the X is getting closer to zero. But the Y is getting closer to zero as well. Right there, we've got a root. The Y value went, went to zero. The slope was negative all this time, wasn't it? x is negative, y is negative, and the slope is negative. As we keep going here, the slope is still negative, the slope is still negative. There's a point right here, it's an interesting point, x is 0, y is negative, and the slope is negative in this example. As we keep moving over here, there's another critical value where the slope becomes 0, and then as we get <clears throat> begin to increase, then the x value is positive, the y value is negative, and the slope is positive here. The slope continues to be positive all the time here, but notice we're measuring three different items. One is the x value, the y value, and the slope or the derivative. So 
So the derivative is still going to be positive up here. Positive slope, positive slope, positive slope. So there are three measurements that we're worried about here. We're worried about the x value, the y value, and the derivative or the slope. We want to find the slope of this line. Our problem is that we only know one point on the line, the point y. We know if we know what x is, then we know what f of x is. What we need to do is come up with some way of finding the slope of this tangent line. The trick is going to be this. So here I build a slider that I can adjust the length of h. And what we're going to do is add this h value to the x value of this point. So this point, the point that we've labeled as p sub x plus h is going to be the x value plus h and a y value of 0. If that h is negative, then it moves this point to the left of what x is. So because we know another point on the x-axis, we can find the associated y value with it. So this point e, as we've got it labeled, is going to be the point that has an x value of x plus h and a y value of f of x plus h because the function tells uh, the y value. So, <clears throat> so if we change that h to be some negative amount over here, then sure enough, there's this point e. As we move that h over here, there's the point E. So we're just building a, a point that's a little ways away from the x value that we took and find the associated y value. So we could find the slope of this line. The problem is that that line doesn't have the same slope as, as the derivative of the tangent line. However, as that h value gets closer and closer to zero, then that secant line becomes closer and closer to the tangent line. Until in the limit, it would be exactly equal to that. And that th will break chapter two into two test periods. The first test period will look at these ideas. You will look at the idea of the limit and the limit definition of a derivative. This, and, the, and that'll be the first test. The second test, we will look at some techniques for calculating derivatives quickly and effectively. Once we've done that, then we can use those techniques to solve some, uh, some very interesting problems. There's a lot of moving parts in this chapter. Practice is going to be very, very important. Let's get started on it right away. See you in class.